had a few guys asking about on video some of the new guys who have just joined the rasta coins so welcome to all of you who've joined the forum recently um we're asking about the pond um that's what i have to keep the sun out but as you can see it's in full sunlight so that's part of the issue that i have with a lot of light which in the old pond was opposite i hardly had any light which affected the color and the fish because it was sort of washed out and stuff but now the skin and the color is just brilliant on the fish this ph on this pond oh, i should probably go with kh more is running about four which for me it's okay it's not ideal ideal i would want to be uh two or three or even one in my old pond i run it on 0.5 and it was fine ph around seven this pond sits around the kh is around three to four and um I, it's not ideal but it's not terrible so at the moment I'm happy to leave it that way as you can tell I've got a couple extra air stones running in there at the moment I'm feeding for those of you who are asking a mixture of sake hikari all sake hikari and JPD color with sinking and a bit extra as you can see there um, so I'm feeding those at the moment um, in the filter house if you can see the dark in here, but I like the um, temperature in here today is hot, so what's that, 25 degrees in here, so that's boiler, backy, as you can see, protein, skin, which are those vents are looking really, really neat. And this is the drum that I use, the UV light is in there friend pump uh, drum controller thing as because of the heat I think the actual temperature probably set up yeah 0.5 so that's the deal there so anyhow this is this is the setup a, a lot of you have seen this before so um, these are for the ones who haven't seen this so that's what's being fed at the moment there's a couple more fish that's leaving yeah I mean knock the air off you might be able to see a bit better in the pond but there's a couple more fish leaving here, mainly sort of the single color fish, making room for some more gosanki sort of thing. So the pond is just um, 6,000 something, something close to, I think, 6,300 gallons, um, whatever that works out in liters. I have no idea. So just a few things. Somebody asked me, what do I do to control blanket weed? I don't have blanket weed because I have these things. I don't know if you can see them. The old fashioned pleco fish. I, mean, I saw them first at Matsue Koi Farm. And uh, yeah, they work brilliant. Anything that sort of starts growing in a pond, uh, they would quickly eat. And they survive down to 12 degrees. That one's big. That one must be, I think that's about 60 centimeters. Last I measured it. Um, so yeah, so that's really just a short video update on the pond. Nice to be in sunshine. This is the fish. This fish was about in March 85, 86 centimeters. Unfortunately, it didn't make the national because uh, an issue with the tail. Um, but hopefully uh, it will be in a show coming soon. But you know, time will tell. These things are crazy things they can do something that didn't puts them out of the show altogether or they can be brilliant that's just fish for you so just a small update on the pond uh, mainly for the guys who are asking about it and um, this side is the best view inside in my opinion the windows on the other side but i rather look at them from this side so that's the fish that i bought in 2017 when i was at matsue koi farm uh, that's last time i measured that was 74 centimeters 75 in march so i'm not sure how big it is it's quite big now but uh that was bought in 2017 this side you would see that on the video as well so that's it